Hey guys, we're at Aquatic Aesthetics again. And yes, you're seeing the freshwater section up with water. It is cycled. The ammonia is gone. We've got five tanks up, five more to go. But that's not what this is about. Today, it's about an unboxing. We got a big load. So let's go ahead and start with the one that's leaking. Because he pinched right through the bag. This guy I've been waiting for. This is a Pape Blue Moon Lobster. No color to him right now, but boy, when he colors up, he is going to be just stunning. He's going to be pricey, but he is beautiful. Okay, let's move on. We'll get him taken care of right away. Thank you, Andrew. Next up, we've got the Chili Rasboras. These guys get a beautiful shade of red when they color up. And, of course, they are not going to color up in the bag at all. Next, we've got Blue Moscow Guppies. Robert, if you're seeing this video, come see me. I got the one you want. You can pick the one out of these. These look like they're going to be coolie loaches. Banded coolies. All of them active, looking real good. Good sizes, too. And here we've got turquoise rainbows. Nice looking guys. And these are cardinals. Yes, cardinal tetras. Nice looking. Good color too. Okay, and of course I didn't bring scissors or nothing with me, so gotta do this one-handed with a key. Okay. And we've got some bettas. Uh, Galaxy Koi. Wow, stunning markings on him. We've got a Red Dragon Round Tail. He is gorgeous. A Mustard Gas Half Moon. I think everyone knows what those look like, or if you're at Petco, they're gonna call it a Paradise Fish. For some reason, they don't like the sound of Mustard Gas, and believe it or not, they do the same thing with the Dumbos. Okay, so these are wild male betas. We'll see what they are, what type they are once they color up. I don't know if they're splendens or what. Bellis, we'll find out. And the last batch is going to be all Super Deltas. Got some nice color varieties in there, looks like. Can't see much from this camera angle. All right, we'll get these guys put off to the side. And we'll move on. This is a, actually three, blue-eyed lemon long fin placos. These are an L144 placo, if that interests you on the L numbers. Okay, so I got several people wanting these. These are the gold tetras. Once again, we sell out of them immediately when we get them. They get this beautiful shade of gold to them. 
that they only get by eating the slime coat off of the parents. The funny thing is that slime coat actually protects them from parasites. They are pretty much ick proof. Okay, well, set those guys on, move on here. We've got some African dwarf frogs. Ugly little guys, cute in their own way. Dwarf orange Mexican lobsters. These guys probably won't cooperate for a bag shot. Let's see if I can get them moving around here. There's several of them in there, probably about 12, I think. That's it for that box. Move on. Okay, and yep, it wasn't 12 in that bag, must have just been six, because here's the rest of the dwarf orange. We've got the red tail black variatus, nice looking variant of the platy. We've got the red tail blue variatus, also a variant of the platy. Oh, how many of these guys did I order? More dwarf orange. Oh, that's right. I got 25 of those guys coming in today. So we'll probably see a few more bags of them. We've got African cichlids. Haven't carried those here before, but now I've got tanks ready for them. We've got rose line sharks. Denisani barbs is another name for them. These are special order. They get up a pretty decent size. More dwarf orange. Hey, wouldn't you know, more dwarf orange Mexican lobsters. Someone opened up the border, I think. Next box. Telling you guys, it's not easy one-handed. Okay, these gotta be big fish. Assorted Alora Nocarara peacock cichlids. Hope I said that name right. And those are Africans. Red Oscars. Very good size on those. Wow. A lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Oh, I'm pulling him last. Assorted fancy dwarf gouramis, males. Little color to them right now. A lot more should come up soon. Well, I said last, not totally last. Last for the box. Let's get you a shot of them from above. We brought another fire eel in. They have been moving well. But just so you know, 
these guys get upwards of five feet in an aquarium. That's their max. They won't all get that big, but they certainly have the potential. Okay, down the last box. We've got more African cichlids. These are Tilapia frontosa. Yeah, you heard that right, tilapia. That fish you eat is a cichlid, an African cichlid. Green cobra male guppies. These guys went real well. They carry a little bit of a premium. So they don't sell with our assorteds, but they are stunning. Gold tetras again. These are marked for immediate removal. I do see some floaters in there, so we'll get these guys done first. These look like the black coolie loaches. Very active. Yep. And we've got assorted fancy Delta female guppies. Just your typical female guppy. A marigold variatus. Again, a variant of a platy. And the last one for this order. We haven't had these guys in here before. These are the golden zebra loach. They get a beautiful gold color to them. Kind of the body shape of a yo-yo. Just a beautiful, beautiful loach. Well guys, that's it. We really got our work cut out for us today. That is a lot of fish to fit into five tanks. But they're not all going there. It's going to be a Chinese fire drill as we're moving stuff around today. So if you come in and you see buckets laying around, just realize we're trying to get fish swapped from tanks to tank and all corn kinds of stuff going on today. So that's it for this. I'm going to see if I can't get this uploaded to you right away. Don't forget, click that like, click the subscribe, click every button they got. We could use it all, guys. Thanks.